uh, good morning, Taylor. Welcome to San Diego. First, of, first and foremost, I guess congratulations. You're uh, you're a new uncle. I'm a new uncle. Had a uh, had a heck of a week last <laughs> week, and uh, things are starting to slow down a little bit. But really, uh, I wish I had better words to describe the week. Uh, it's just been incredible. Well, you, can tra- if, uh, if you can go ahead and do that right now. First of all, if you can take us back. What was it like finding out that you were being traded um, to the Padres? And did you think that that was even a possibility at the time? I didn't. You know, I think. I think it's rather rare to get traded on opening day. I haven't looked at the history, but it doesn't seem to happen too often. Um, so, you know, uh, standard, I guess just like any trade, you know, and I've been in Minnesota for 10 years and just leaving all those memories there and but also being excited and, you know, the Padres really want me to be here and that was nice to nice feeling to be wanted. So, um, you know, just wanting to come in and basically not get noticed, just filter in and, and do my job and hopefully help this team win some games. And I'll tell you briefly though that I think AJ Prowler, I think you're the second closer that AJ Prowler has traded for on opening day. I remember him trading for Kate, Craig Kimbrell back in back in 2015. So when you find out that you're coming to the National League West, who is the first person that you call with this news? Oh, obviously my brother. <laughs> obviously my brother. Uh, we talked about it. Um, and you know how uh, you know how Twitter is these days yeah. where you know the news was swirling the day before, so we were discussing a bit, uh, discussing you know what it could look like potentially, and then when it ended up happening, uh, you know we said we're going to be playing each other a lot, and finally don't have to uh, say goodbye for eight months, a year to him. I, I get to see him more, so and then obviously being a new uncle, get to uh, see my uh, nephew Jack more, and um, you know it's just really cool. I was thinking I wasn't going to see him for eight months, and I think uh, this is a lot better setup. I am dying. I'm. I am. I think a lot of us are fascinated with with twins. And I mean, can you, can, especially you guys, you guys are a mirror identical twin, so everything is everything is identical. Yeah, yeah, we're identical, and I guess that's the term we've heard is, is mirror image, and we just rolled with it because it makes sense, you know, right-handed, left-handed, and that's why uh, that's why I chose number 17. It's the mirror of, of him, 71, and it's just kind of a cool little thing. We saw we saw the the, the footage of you like of your face, a picture of you when he was up, up on the mound. What is it like watching him, watching him pitch, and especially in a situation where he got—I think it got tagged with a loss. It was, it was, it was awkward. Um, you know, obviously we had, we took the lead that inning, and uh, I was thinking about that. You know, the team doing well, but then it's also your brother out there. Um, I just took it as a chance to be a fan and you know get to watch him pitch live and um, just kind of knowing his path uh, to the big leagues. And you know, he didn't get there as soon as I did, and. Everybody was always asking him, you know, why aren't you there when your brother is? And he he handled that really well. So I was just happy to see him out there and see him in a big league uniform. And then had to turn that off and come out there two innings later and, and uh, you know, try to save the game. So it's just really, really cool. That's remarkable. How, how often do you guys, how often do you guys talk? Talk or text? Every day. Every day. Oh, yeah. It's, um, you know, you have, you have best friends, you have siblings that are best friends, and then Twins are, are just another level, and uh, like when he when he proposed to his wife, I, I had to tell her I'm like you realize you realize what you're getting into here, and uh, she does it. She supports it, and um, yeah, we're we're more than best friends. It's the coolest thing ever. When's, when's the last time that you imp- have you that you impersonated him? I mean, you guys have had to have done the twin switch. You had to have. You know, we did early on, but it backfired on us. So then we just decided to uh, leave that alone. Um, it's kind of nice to, when we went our separate ways, I got to become Taylor and he got to become Tyler. Whereas beforehand it was just the twins or which one are you. So it was nice to be our own separate person. And now that we're older and we've kind of grown out of that stage, it's kind of perfect to kind of bring that back and, and be the twins again. It's It really couldn't have been set up any better. I can talk to you about being a twin all day long, but I'll just ask you a baseball question, man. What's it, what's it like with this new team, new teammates, and getting to know people? It's been awesome. Uh, you know, I still don't know probably 90% of the names here, but <laughs> we're, we're getting there. Um, everybody's been so welcoming, and I feel like that's kind of the coolest thing about baseball is seeing a new place and you realize that everybody in the game is just good people and they're all welcoming and it's kind of nice to get a fresh perspective on things and you know see kind of the way a different organization seen you and said hey you know we think you can work on this and this could make you better and it's just kind of cool to have more eyes and, and learn more about the game and look at this weather I mean you can't beat this.